What's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 Mac Boys. A real quick video for you guys today. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a Mac app review for you guys. And the app I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today is called uh, Sanuti. And I know a lot of you guys have probably already heard about Sanuti, but just for my viewers that haven't heard about it, I just thought I'd let you guys know what it is. Now, um, if you guys have ever had a um, iPod or had like a friend's iPod or something that had a lot of good music and you really wanted it, or say you had an iPod with all your music on it and your iTunes completely crashed and everything got deleted and you wanted to get the music from your iPod back onto your um, computer, now you use an application called Sanuti. And Sanuti, I believe, is an $18 download, but I found a torrent for it. I'll put the link to that in the description. I, I, I might also upload the zip file to mega upload for you guys, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. Now, um, this is the cracked version, or the version I'm using at least is cracked, and I'm pretty sure that the torn I'm giving you guys is the cracked version, but if not, I'll look on Casey and Screw and iSerial Reader for more, um, for just to put some serial codes in, but I haven't used them, but I'm just going to show you guys how to use this application. So you open it up and it gives you this screen, insert an iPod to get started. Now um, you can just plug your iPod in. Uh, I, Whenever I use it I always have iTunes open. So I'm just going to show you. And the iPod I'm using is my sister's 3rd gen Nano. So uh, if the music you guys think is stupid, don't give me crap because it's not my music. It's my little sister so just bear with me. So you plug it in and it shows up fairly quickly in Sanuti. So, yeah, it gives you the iTunes notification. I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to erase and sync. But um, it will pretty much give you the same kind of dumbed down version of the iTunes navigation. It looks pretty familiar. On the side, I'll say em Emily's iPod or whatever. And then uh, it will give you all the different playlists. And then it will show you all the different playlists in iTunes that I have. So, um, here on the right in this big window right here it has all of the music that is on my sister's iPod and as you guys can see it tells you the amount of songs how many hours and how the size it also lets you play the song and then control the volume within the um, actual application itself so that's pretty nice now you guys are probably wondering what these blue dots are and why some of them have blue dots and some of them don't it's because the app uh, the so it, it, this is a really great feature this application by the way but the songs that I already have on my iTunes library they put a blue dot next to it to let you know that you don't need to re-download that so that's really nice if you're taking some music from a friend if he lets you and um, you don't want to have duplicate songs you can just pick the songs that you already have so as and then plus if you put um, your mouse over it so as you guys see this song right here it doesn't show the whole thing if you put your mouse over it it'll show you the entire song so how you transfer music from Sanuti to your iTunes you can set this all up for when you first open the application like where you want it to download if you want it to automatically add to iTunes all that stuff you can do at the beginning but as you guys see right here I select the song that I want to transfer and then up here in the top left corner it'll, there's either a transfer button and a stop button and you can select multiple uh, songs at once by either holding command down and choosing individuals uh, or you can hold shift down oh shoot what I do uh, okay um, or you could hold shift down and select all the ones from in between. So if I hold shift down and I click hot and cold, it selects all the ones right here. And I'll just go back to Cypress Hill. But say I just want to download this song and hot and cold. You click transfer and then in the bottom or bottom left it'll show you all the it'll show you the progress. So if you're transferring an entire iPod it will show you the progress of the songs and as you guys see now the two songs I downloaded have uh, been added to my iTunes library and if I go here and I go to my recently added it has the two songs that I added there you go so it's a fairly simple application but it lets you take uh, music from your friends if they have like if you have a friend that has a really good like bunch of music on his iPod or something like that um, you can check that out. It, it works really well. It works exactly how it's supposed to. It's a very clean interface. I highly recommend it. I'll put all the links in the description. 
Uh, if you guys like my videos, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Um, yesterday, I saw the Harry Potter movie, the new one, and for those of you guys er, who haven't seen it yet and are considering going to see it, I recommend you guys go check it out. I thought it was a really good movie, but I also did read the books, and if you did read the books carefully and you knew you know what was supposed to happen and you like knew a couple of the details, you'll have realized that they skipped a lot and they also added some stuff in, which was kind of annoying, but I mean... The movie itself, I thought, was pretty good. The The cinematography or whatever was a little weird, but I thought it was a good movie all in all, and I'll probably go see it again. So um, that's all I have to say today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's Bobby93MathBoy. Peace.